Yeah, hello everyone. I'd like to uh, do a little demonstration of the biotoroid technology using a direct current. Okay, we've got uh, the first test we're going to do is with a conventional transformer and running on uh, pulsed DC from our triple five circuit and um, going to be using this parallel to our input uh, to monitor our input and then we've got our output bulb here so uh, just in conventional transformer mode I'm going to put uh, the secondary on load and watch the effect so we're seeing the primary increasing in order to supply power to the load and of course uh, driven to uh, extended power uh, that would just cause overheating and uh, that wouldn't be a good thing so we've got real power being consumed in the primary and real power being consumed in the secondary Okay, uh, we're at uh, 2.93 kilohertz, 6 volts. We're going to leave everything the same, except now we're going to connect to the Biotoroid transformer. I'm going to adjust some things. So here you can see when the bitoroid goes on load, the primary decreases and both secondaries become very active. Okay. I'll remove that. So the real power being consumed in the primary drops considerably when both secondaries are loaded. That's a nice effect. So you can drive it a little harder and the power in the primary becomes more reactive. Okay, for the next part of the demonstration we're going to use 2.93 kilohertz on the signal gen and uh, we're going to drive this load of light bulbs. So I'm just going to make some connections here. Remove our LEDs. Okay, so now we're going to drive the primary of the bitoroid and uh, see the effect on the lights. So I'm using half wave rectification through the ammeter and uh, driving the load there. So as you can see, we are using about 100 and some milliamps. This uh, 12 watts is uh, closer to fully lit than, than not. We've got Start at zero here. That amount of current. These are 12 volt bulbs, all in parallel. 
Okay, so interesting effect when we short the secondary. We get good current on the output. On the input, there's little to zero effect. but we get excellent current increase as we should in the secondary and we get no current increase in short circuit condition on the primary so how's that different from the conventional transformer now we are going to take our conventional transformer and we are going to put our load on that secondary and I'm getting no effect just gonna check my connections oh, something, something happened there Okay, a bad connection there. This is the light we're getting. Power in. And that is the light we're getting at the exact same setting. Switch it off, switch it on, switch it off, switch it on. Very poor light. So now we're going to short circuit the primary. Watch the current. Okay, not much increase there. Extremely poor light though. So now, on the exact same duty cycle setting, just going to reposition back onto the bitoroid. And we've got our very near full light. Short the secondary. Talk to you guys later.